coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Florida County using drones for property appraisals. Hydron measures weather conditions in stratosphere. And the French Civil Aviation Authority approves fully automated drone. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI. I'm Skylar Vanell. St. John's County in Northeast Florida is one of the state's most rapidly growing areas. With new construction in the county, the property appraisers has turned to drones for help. The aircraft are then used for building permits and tracking lots that may soon be added to the tax rolls. In 2018, St. John's County added 4,300 new residential properties to its tax base. The St. John's County Property Appraiser's Office purchased a DJI Mavic Pro. Property appraiser Eddie Creamer said that the EV fixed wing drone was recently acquired to scan much larger areas. The four employees who operate the aircraft are referred to as the drone squad, and they schedule flights two or three times a week. The aircraft capture video, which is analyzed for changes in residential and commercial properties. If a homeowner has added on to the property, they can now check actual structures against plans filed with the county. St. John's is one of two counties in Florida to use drones for property appraisals. In the next Unmanned Minute, we'll take a brief look at a few of the stories making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The first test flight to establish the principles for the National Beyond Visual Line of Sight Experimentation Corridor have successfully taken place at Cranfield Airport, northwest of London. NBEC is a collaboration between Cranfield University and Blue Bear Systems Research that aims to create an experimentation corridor that will enable unmanned aircraft to fly in the same airspace as manned aircraft. Blue Bear executed three-kilometer extended visual line-of-sight racetrack flights within the Cranfield air traffic zone. A new cargo drone capable of flying about 50 pounds is being tested by Drone Delivery Canada. The company was granted authorization for the flight test program by Transport Canada at the end of January. The Falcon has been in development for almost a year and has received approvals from Transport Canada to commence testing within southern Ontario. The Falcon is the big brother to DDC's Sparrow, which is based on an electric propulsion system. The European Space Agency's planet-defending HERA mission will set a new record in space. The asteroid investigator will be the first spacecraft to explore a binary asteroid system, the Didymos pair. Didymos itself is approximately 2,560 feet across. Its orbiting moonlet, Diddy Moon, will be the smallest asteroid ever visited at 525 feet across. The plan is to land one CubeSat there to further research. Hera is designed to be Europe's contribution to an international planetary defense effort. UAS Training and Certification Center at Sinclair College partners with SenseFly. Through their partnership, Sinclair Community College National UAS Training and Certification Center will become the primary North American partner providing standardized OEM training platforms for SenseFly clients. That was your Unmanned Minute. UAVOS and Stratodynamics Aviation have completed flight tests on the Hydron Earth Observation Platform, called at altitude 82,000 feet. Hydron also carried an atmospheric measurement system. The nighttime flight lasted four hours, including the one-hour weather balloon launched period with an average climb rate of 22 feet per second. At a release altitude, the Hydron was 22 miles away from the launch site where it headed home and was above launch area at an altitude of 59,000 feet. The Hydron then glided near the home position with the descent rate much slower than a comparable parachute-borne instrument. The return flight home lasted about three hours. Hydron operated in headwinds up to 97 knots and temperatures as low as negative 76 degrees. They experienced icing and landed autonomously. The Hydron's flight stabilization after balloon race and tuning the UAV controls and components for stratospheric flight were main objectives of the mission. The Hydron's payload collected meteorological data and the atmospheric instruments were integrated with the autopilot telemetry and the sensors custom fitted to the aircraft. Data was collected at the ground station in real time and compiled with the flight records. The high altitude flight was conducted in collaboration with the Regional Air Traffic Control Agency. 
The French Civil Aviation Authority, which regulates drone use in France, has approved the use of a fully automated drone with no pilot, paving the way to new applications. The authorization was granted to Azure Drone's SkyTech system, which takes off from a docking station and requires no remote pilot. The drones can fly over private areas beyond visual line of sight, day or night, in urban areas under simple supervision or remote operator. With this approval, the system will be directly operated by a security guard with no pilot certificate. Stefan Morelli, Azure Drone's managing director, said they are very proud of this approval, which rewards an 18-month close collaboration with DGAC services. The system had to comply with civil aviation authorities' requirements in terms of safety and reliability and quality, a process that was very demanding due to the fully automated character of the system. With this authorization, Azure Drones confirms its leadership and technological excellence. The company aims to make autonomous drones a standard in the security market in France and overseas. Azure Drones is already under discussion with other authorities in order to get similar approvals in several other countries. That wraps up our program for the week. If you have a story suggestion, go ahead and send us an email at news-spy at arrow-news.net. Our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can find all the latest aviation and aerospace stories at aero-news.net. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head on over to auvsi.org. We'll see you back here next week.